Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. Me, Game of Six of Komorebi. On the last Let's Play, we did Rebels and Rivals. Ri basically, Winds of Change, where it turned out that the leader of the Thorns, Taylor, was Isaac's father. At which point, Isaac killed him? And I then fled. So, sequel, maybe? To that ends this game, maybe. Who knows? I kind of feel like it's one of those things where, like, he killed him. No, he killed him. And then it was like, actually, I wasn't dead. All that stabbing in the gut? Fake. Anyways, time to smooch some boys. Experience. Heart to heart fragment. Isaac Four. Also oh, reset my face a bit. Yeah, everybody's going to be waiting out in the hallway one by one. I start some private time with Isaac, and nobody seems to mind. This might not be... This might be your last chance for a heart-to-heart -heart before Hermes Day. It must be pretty flattering to have a day named after yourself, huh? Enjoying the con so far? I'm kind of glad we won that bet. I feel bad for taking money from Dante like that. Same... Let's go out for a nice dinner when this is over. Let's use the money to take a vacation together. Like, uh, just the two of us? I'm game. But, <laughs> where should we go? Uh, furry... Uh, California, I guess? I don't know. He starts thinking, but then stops immediately. Actually, let's not derail the conversation. I take it you wanted to talk about something specific? I can't stop thinking about what you told me. You mean my true role in all this? Trust me, I'm still coming to terms with it myself. Huh? He starts pacing around the room as he speaks. You know it's all tied to my vision, right? I'm pretty sure Dante made that perfectly clear. Can you imagine having a weight like that on your shoulders? Knowing that you need to be the one who changes the world? Hmm. I can't imagine that kind of pressure. No. Exactly. Not many can. In fact, I'd argue that we're not meant to. But I've lived it. Every day. For almost my entire life. And I know that nothing but absolute perfection will ensure my success. I don't think it's possible to recreate a vision one-to-one. -one. I think there's always going to be differences and changes. But with how much is on the line, I can't afford any of that. For about a decade, I've lived knowing that I have to achieve the impossible. And if I don't pull it off, then nothing changes. Argus still has us in their pocket, and the zeros are still stuck outside. Is it so much to ask for just a little harmony in the world? Can't help but sympathize with him. It must feel nice to open up about all this, though. Part of me, like, uh, feels like I'm the first person he's ever told. I used to tell myself that a miracle would happen, that one day a switch would flick and everything would make sense. All the missing pieces would fall into place and I'd be able to pull this off. But that hasn't happened. I've been winging it this entire time. So it's taught me one valuable lesson. There's no such thing as a miracle. Just hope and how we choose to wield it. That last sentence sticks with me. How we choose to wield hope. Right now, my hope is that these memories could come to our aid. That no matter what happens, this period of my life will be a time capsule. And one day, when it needs to be opened, people can see what really happened. <clears throat> I flip the conversation around and vocalize these thoughts to Isaac. I know it's going to sound ridiculous, but honestly, so does the fact that he's Hermes. Isaac, I've been thinking about something. I guess we're going to be glitched out again. Oh? Is everything okay? It's about that agent. I know I saw them. I don't know, Delta. We could go over the footage together if you wanted. 
It wouldn't work. They're watching from afar. But you said they were right in front of you. Far away, as in watching from the future. How is that possible? I think it has to do with the nostalgia technology. The ability to relive the past. I think in the future, they're investigating our lives. And I might uh, be feeling some sort of weird after effect. Isaac sighs, signaling disbelief, and even a hint of annoyance. I expect his next words. Okay, I expect his next words to chastise me, and tell me to get back to reality. I believe you. Hmm. Huh? It makes sense. How? It barely makes sense to me. Well, maybe it doesn't make sense per se. It's just a logical deduction, given everything that's happened. Don't you remember what I said? I've been seeing things in the corner of my eye, too. And I know all about the nostalgia tech as well. It's been mentioned in a lot of internal emails. What does it change, though? It's not like they can do anything to us from there. Maybe not, but we can do something to them. In what way? We live our lives knowing that they'll view our memories. We can leave behind any message we want, any memories we want. Well, fancy a game of 40 chess, huh? Mm-hmm. He starts to think. I'm left in an awkward silence for several moments. Hmm. The very flow of time would be our battlefield. Now he's getting it. What should we do then? Make sure they know that we're good people. How would that help us? Good people can still do bad things. In fact, there's nothing more harmful than good intentions. We should send them a real message. Something substantial. Let me think about this, alright? Remember, we're going right into their HQ. If my sights could become evidence, I need to rethink my plan. I'm shocked by how quickly he's accepted my theory. It's almost too convenient, so I ask him, hoping I don't come off as paranoid. Like I said, it makes perfect sense. I live my life constantly experiencing memories of the future. Say whatever you want, but that's literally impossible. The idea that we'll be able to revisit past memories? That's <clears throat> nothing compared to the reality I face. Besides, it was only a matter of time anyway. Photos, audio recordings, video recordings. This just feels like the next step, doesn't it? Of course, it'll just be tainted by the hands of Argus. There's no way their motivations are selfless. But selfish motivations can only be fought with selfless hands. So I say we turn this around and put them in their place. And not. It's basically what I planned. Of course, I really just wanted to open him to open up to me. People in the future deserve to know who he really was. Because if they didn't, then Argus would fill in the gaps. And something told me they would they wouldn't see him as a hero that I do. Oh more about me. Sorry, I guess I got caught up in the bigger picture. But that makes perfect sense to me. You focus on capturing the group and I'll do the rest. I know I can use this future technology against them in the present. Okay. He sits on the edge of the bed and softly pats a spot beside him. I join him and we look at each other with a smile. Of course, that can wait. For the record though, I want to open up to you. If someone else is watching, that doesn't change anything. I nod, otherwise this would be an interrogation. I can't force them to tell me their story. I can only ask them to open up willingly. Thankfully, this group is bound by trust. A trust that now reveals all of our true natures. Let's see. Well, what did I tell you last time? Your dad was an Argus legend? Right, right. And that you were a master at tinkering with technology? Good to know you were paying attention. He smirks. Was that some sort of test? 
I guess I can pick up the story from that part. You already know most of my secrets anyway. Airing the back of his head, he blushes softly. But first and foremost, I have to thank you. I was scared you'd run away when I told you the truth. My role in Cypher hasn't made me the most forthcoming. It'd be so easy to call me a liar and go off on your way. In fact, I can tell that Dante and Taylor were considering it. You learn a thing or two about reading people in retail. He nudges me playfully. It's true, he did tell quite a few lies. But I can understand the need to keep this a secret. He... Or, to keep a secret. Yeah, never mind. He had an exceptional burden weighing down his every move. It must feel good for him to finally let out these secrets. So, yeah. Thanks. You basically know everything, but I can try to fill in the gaps. He tugs at the collar of his jacket. When I was growing up, I always liked messing with Argus Tech. I guess I wanted to mimic my dad since I could tell he was successful. Even though I was a kid, I actually helped him with his work. That's probably when he started to realize the potential I had. I remember fiddling with our security system. You know, kind of like I do in our house. My dad started to be concerned with his safety. I don't know why, but he kept testing the security system. In his paranoia, I guess he needed to know if it still worked. But that test alarm terrified me especially as a kid. So, like you might have guessed, I found a way to mute it. Uh-oh. He laughs, like he's surprised how talented he was. Obviously, I got scolded. It was there to keep us safe, after all. But as kids, I don't think we fully understand danger and paranoia. So then, he got a new security system. It was more advanced and more attached to the system. Theoretically, it wouldn't be possible for me to mute this one. But I'm not the type to back down from a challenge. Sure enough, I cracked this one too. He was furious. Well, furious with a side of shock and awe, of course. True. That was an impressive feat for a child to pull off. That's where I stopped the story last time, right? I don't remember you telling me up to that point. I nod. Well, he upgraded the security again. This time, it was unreleased experimental tech. It worked and passed all of his tests just fine. I didn't want to get in trouble, so I left it alone. But that's where things get really weird. One night, someone broke into our home. And sure enough, the alarm didn't go off. My dad told me to run and hide under his bed. I don't know who broke in, but they started fighting. There's one thing I'll never forget, though. The look on my dad's face when he told me to run away. He obviously knew that the security system was muted. And in that moment, I could tell he blamed it on me. I couldn't defend myself either. All I could do was hide. So, yeah, his final thoughts of me will always be ones of anger, but I was innocent. It was his trust in the tech that hurt him. So, his dad was killed? I didn't expect to hear that. I'm pretty sure I deserve it. I disobeyed him every chance I got, after all. And the one time... I start listening to him. You know how cruel irony can be. If I ignored his orders, I would have opened up the tech. Then I could have fixed what was wrong with it. Defiance could have saved his life. That's a lesson I've carried with me ever since. In fact, I'm using that defiance to save the Zeros. I can't just sit back and do nothing. Not like last time. He's using his past to justify his current actions. But it's not just his current actions. Everything makes more sense. I suddenly see him in a completely different light. He 
sells and sells Argus tech, so he can make sure it's done correctly. Otherwise, someone else might lose a loved one to a faulty device or a glitch. He follows in his father's footsteps because he feels responsible for what happened. I suppose if you rob someone of their legacy, you have to make it your own. All of that stuff is so tragic, but but then there's this vision. Devoting his life to a corporation that he knew he'd end up defying? Smirching the name of himself and the legacy of his father? No, that only happen if we lose. I know Isaac is doing the right thing here. Well, there you have it. Argus Tech is all I ever really knew. After my dad died, I went to live with his brother. But even then, I preferred working with technology. I didn't really make friends or bond with my uncle. He was mad that I kept this leather jacket. Said I needed to let go instead of carrying the past with me. But I know he was just projecting. It was a reminder of his brother. But it's hard for me to let go of this thing, Delta. It gave me safety during one of the worst moments in my life. When I was under that bed, it was all I had to wrap around myself. It kept me hidden. I laid under that bed for almost 24 hours. I waited until the police arrived, like I was taught. Those flashing blue and yellow lights lit up the bedroom. That's when I knew it was safe to come out. Of course, I came out to some bad news. It gives me a nervous smile. I hope that's good enough. I place my hand on top of his, intertwining her fingers. That was a lot to take in, but it made me understand him so much more. And if he's going to be the man with a legacy, he'd want this to be a part of it. You know, that was pretty cathartic. Gotta commend you for the idea, Delta. And if people ever listen in on this, well, I'm happy with the way I worded things. It's important for the world to know what makes me tick, right? Every detail we hold back will be a detail lost to time. And I'd never want to lose what we have. Places his hand on my cheek and looks into my eyes. All this talk about what shapes me and makes me tick. It'd be remiss of me not to give you the spotlight. He smiles and laughs. But it's a it has a mischievous tone. Our love transcends time. Isn't that cool? A real romance for the ages. Who knows how many people might experience this. That nostalgia tech could turn all of our lives into a stage. So let's work toward a standing ovation. We both lean forward and our lips lock together. I can tell, I, I can feel all of his passion, but also all of his pain. His grip on my hand tightens, and I feel them tremble. <clears throat> a few moments later, the kiss is broken. He looks at me with glistening eyes and a wide smile. Remember, great things. You know, playing games where you connect with characters doesn't exactly help your emotional state. Experience. Heart to heart fragment. It just makes me sad. But it do be like that. Looks like it was time for me to have a chat with Dante. Out of all the others, he was probably the closest to Isaac. Because that, current events were probably hitting him the hardest. But with a strong bond comes strong trust. Against better judgment, it seemed like he'd do anything for Isaac. Even follow him into the heart of Argus HQ in the name of a better future. What a great con, huh? The sarcasm in his voice is immense. I wish we could be out there helping the Zeros, but I guess we're doing it in our own way. It's the waiting that kills me, though. There's so many people just standing around. 
At least the zeros are being fed. Too little too late, some would say. There's no denying it. What happened was truly awful. There's no reason for their zeros to die. Not a single one. I could see the guilt on the faces of people helping out in the town square. If only I stepped in sooner, is probably what they're thinking. If I help now, I'll feel less guilty about it, is the aura I feel in the air. It's almost like they care more about the conscious than those lives. But at the end of the day, help is still help, right? Does it even matter what's going on in their heads? Or am I just projecting what I feel onto the unsuspecting masses? Hmm. Better late than never, others would say. At least now there will only be two casualties. Two too many, if you ask me. How do you feel about all this, Delta? I can tell it's affecting you more than you let on. I trust Isaac, I know... Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, it's... Our role is greater than just feeding the zeros. It was, but I feel calm now that I know about you by my side. I'm terrified, but it's my only choice to foil Isaac. No, nope, it's just life. I was hoping in for or after moving. Argus needs to fall. My resolve trumps everything else I feel. Let's do the romantic thing. <laughs> wow, really? Good to know I have that effect. Personally, I won't be able to relax until Sunday is over. But with everything going on, I hope you don't blame me. In this situation, I don't think anything could calm me down. He could try using a bit of denial, like everyone else. Nah, I feel like facing my feelings head on. Or at the very least, letting them out in my writing. Speaking of the writing, by the way, it's going well. I lost a bit of time, but I think everything will be good. <laughs> After this blows over, I'll be full of inspiration. Especially with how weird things have been lately. I mean, that whole being watched from the future thing? Hmm. He knows? You gotta admit, it's pretty outlandish. But so is the idea of Coma Rebi, and here we are. He shrugs. Time is just a bunch of nonsense anyway, isn't it? The only thing that matters is the moment. At the end of the day, that's all we can really call our own. At least in theory. He scoffs. Other people being able to see my memories. You gotta be kidding me, that's so embarrassing. Mm. After Sunday, I might never do anything again. Just sit at home and avoid creating any regrets. I think that's what Argus is aiming for. Full social control, huh? I never figured they'd end up being that evil, but I saw those bodies. I saw their true nature. Also, I might as well get this out of the way. Sorry, Delta, but I don't believe you. Oh. I kind of figured I could convince all my friends. Leave it to Dante to be the odd one out. I don't think we're being watched right now. But at the same time, they did announce this technology, so maybe I'll meet you halfway at the more believable part. And what's the more believable part? That one day we'll be able to revisit these memories. Remember what Taylor said way back when we were pre-gaming? Create some memories that we can revisit whenever we want. I don't know about you, but that's been my motto lately. Kind of ironic thing for Taylor to say, given the circumstances. I'd especially like to revisit my life before the midnight deaths. You know, the, the good old days. <laughs> you know, I just connected that Major Minor had the midnight deaths, but that was the uh, hot chick going around killing people to practice killing people for when she was supposed to kill people so she could get godlike powers or something. As worried as I was, at least nothing bad happened to me. <laughs> so that's kind of the logic I'm using right now. You're worrying for nothing. <laughs> Seems to be a pretty comforting thought. Gotta give you and Isaac some credit, though. You have some pretty active imaginations. Coming from a writer, that's a compliment, by the way. I mean, sending memories to the future for subterfuge? <laughs> Engaging in the highest possible levels of corporate espionage? You're giving me a bunch of ideas for my next book. 
but I think that's all it is. A bunch of fiction spawned from fear. Or maybe not fear, maybe resolve is the right word. You want to give our mission on Sunday more importance. A greater cause is always easier to commit to, after all. First it was the agent, now it's this. I did see the agent, Dante. But the footage said otherwise. I saw them at the party, too. <laughs> now that's impossible. Isaac was pretty vigilant. I think they snuck in the back door after Isaac silenced it. Hmm. Maybe we should just focus on the stuff we can confirm. And yes, this is me totally projecting my fright. I don't know how I'd handle all the extra stress you seem to be embracing, but I'm sure everything will be fine after all of this blows over. So let's figure it out then, all right? We can talk about it on our date, actually. I imagine that's gonna have to wait until after Sunday. I'd suggest that we go to dinner now, but if our friends tag along out of necessity, it's not really a date. <laughs> It could be a quadruple date. I nod. That seems fair to me. Part of me is a little upset, but I can't exactly blame Dante. Guess I just got lucky with convincing by other friends. <sighs> Sorry. Or maybe I had to... It had to do with the lives they lived. And I, a streamer, a master of tech, they all fueled their belief through experiences they had. I didn't just ask them to believe me though, they almost convinced themselves. I'm tempted to try and convince him, but I decided to drop it for now. As long as I have him by our side on Sunday, that's all that really matters. I wonder if he'd change his mind if he knew that Isaac was Hermes. By the way, speaking of extra stress, I kind of have a plan. When we're in Argus HQ, I might sneak off on my own. Hmm. Wait, what? Hopefully not too far, or ideally not at all. But if I can find a computer with high level access there, I need to look up my family. Right now, I have no clue where to start. They don't live in my childhood home anymore. I looked into it. And, and the people who live there now won't respond to my emails. At an Argus computer, though, I can literally just search their names. Why can't you just do that normally? Then after everything is over, I can reconnect with my family. If everyone else gets a new start, I think I want one too. So just be prepared, okay? I've already run by Isaac. And he's okay with it? Yeah, of course. But it's our secret for now, okay? We're the only people that know. Like, I feel like that's a completely reasonable request. That like, you could just do some place, you know? Finding family members? <sighs> I'm still low today. He nudges me on the shoulder playfully. Kind of like this little future observation thing, huh? <laughs> if it turns out to be true, I'll make sure to eat my words. And I'll let you watch so you can relive it over and over. They both laugh, embracing the absurdity of what he's saying. Perhaps belief hasn't, wasn't as important as a willingness to follow. The same could be said about the sit, uh, city folk in the town square too. They were helping. It was the action that mattered, not the reason. Whether to clear a guilty conscience or any number of things in between, we all wanted the same thing, to show Argus that their reign was over. Whatever came next, it was in the hands of the people. Pushing any thoughts aside, that was more than enough to unite us all. Yeah, that should be a good time to call it. So anyways, the end of this place of comment, because I like comments. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like me, YouTube, and like, see, grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos to up and grow. And please remember to spend your ammo so I'll control the pit population. And until next time, let's say, me, yeah, move six of Comoribi. So thanks and see ya.